Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this week's Ignite Kids Does Sunday. Let's go and have some fun. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Ignite Kids Does Sunday. I hope you've had a great first week back at school and are now ready to have some fun with us this morning as we learn about somebody who doubted that Jesus came back to life. Uh, More about our story a little bit later on. Well, we had our Easter holiday club um, recently, and I hope that you enjoyed all of the fun that we did with that. Um, If you haven't watched it and you would like to watch it, then go to our YouTube page and you can find all the links there. You can even still find last year's Holiday Club for the summer months as well if you'd like to watch them too. Like I said, we've got our story coming up. We've also got our craft and we've got our reds versus blues. I wonder who's going to win today. Uh, Don't forget to shout out for your team. If you are Reds team, you shout for Trev. If you are Blues team, you shout for me. Okay, so it's now time for us to go and do our song. So let's get up on our feet and let's do some actions. Such a lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna dip in the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna dip in the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. A lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. Such a lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. Well, what do you think, Thomas? Yeah, told you so. Told you. Now do you believe? Well, 
when you told me last week that Jesus had appeared to you through a closed door, well, i got to be honest, I had my doubts. I had my doubts. Yeah, well, it's hard to believe he walked through a closed door, isn't it? Well, I still don't know how he did it, but he appeared to me too. Yeah, but now, now you see what we said were, were true, and you've seen it with your own eyes. Yeah, and, and he told me to touch his hands where the, where the nails went in. Yeah, that bit were a bit gory, weren't it? Yeah, but he showed me his feet and where the spear went in his side. It was gory, but wow, I, 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 I still can't believe that he's alive. But he is, he spoke to me and, and showed me his wounds and everything. Yeah, yeah. And, and it great how they've all kind of healed up as quick as that as well. Oh, he is so amazing. I, I, I just, I, I want to tell everybody too. And now that we all know, then we have a job to do. Yeah, come on, let's go and tell as many people as we can. Right, race you. Well, good morning, everybody, and it's that time of our Sunday morning fun again. It's Reds versus blues. Now, I hope you enjoyed our holiday club and I hope you enjoyed um, joining in with that. Uh, but as you know, uh, Reds versus Blues happens every Sunday too. Whatever team you're in, if you're in Reds, you shout for Trev. If you're in Blues, you shout for me. And if you don't know what team you're in, then just pick one and shout for one of us. Okay, so we're back to the cup games again this week, and this week we are stacking cups and unstacking cups. It's called bottoms up. So you'll notice that Trev has got um, a lot of red cups and he's got one blue cup. Ooh, now I have got a lot of blue cups and I've got one red cup. And the object of the game is to be the first person to get your odd cap back to the bottom by stacking the others quickly on top. Now we've got 25 of our own colours and one of the other colours. Uh, it's completely up to you. You use whatever you've got. And maybe if you've only got um, normal caps at home, just maybe put a colour around the top of one of them so that you know which one it is that you're getting back to the beginning. Anyway, enough of that. Let's see who is going to be the winner. So far, I'm on eight points and Trev is on seven points. So it's anybody's game. If we drop one, that could be the difference between winning and losing. Here we go. Right. Okay. Are you ready, Trev? I'm ready. Three, two, one, go. Uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Okay, good morning everybody. It's now time for our craft and this morning we are making a craft that's been prepared for us by our friend Sue who comes to this church. Now uh, in your packs uh, Sue has put um, a bag like this okay and it's got everything you need in there except for the glue. All right so I'll just pop that on the floor out of the way so you can see. So you've got a plant pot shape Okay, which opens up, and uh, once you finish, you could use it as a card and write to whoever it is, um, and send them a flower. And then you've got some greenery for the stem and the leaves. You've got some petals like this to make the flower, and then you've got some middles of the flower as well. 
Okay, so I've started to glue my petals together. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just cutting some glue on the end of the petals and gluing them in place. That's okay, you know. If you haven't got any glue, um, then you could use some sellotape. Okay. But I'm using some some glue here. Okay, and it also means that because the glue is not set, I can move the petals around a little bit. So it looks just like that. Okay? So all I've done is glued the petals together. There's the bath there. Glued the petals together. Okay. Now, you'll also notice that there's these like little yellow ones which go in the middle. So I'm going to glue in the middle again. Okay. Nice bit of glue. I'm going to stick that pet that on there. And then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do the same again. So it doesn't matter what side is the front. All right, big bit of glue on. And stick that on there like that. So now, whichever way you look, you've got, can you see it really close up there? There you go. There's your flower. Okay, so now I've got to make the plant pot. So here's the plant pot. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to get a little bit of sellotape for this bit and I'm sticking, there you go, sticking the sellotape so that the plant is in the pot. All right, now I need to get some glue again and I'm going to put some glue on the end of the stem. And I'm gonna, oh, if I peel that up like that, I can stick that on there. And then I can stick that back on the other side like that. Okay, so I've got my plant on both sides and I've stuck the stem in between the purple one and the yellow one. Okay, now all that's left to do is put the leaf on Okay, so I get a little bit of glue again. Okay. And I stick that on there. And now, uh, put the lid on the glue so it doesn't dry up. Now I can write inside my plant pot. Who shall I write it to? To... Ooh, I could write it to anybody, couldn't I? What about Trev? To Trev. Thanks for playing games. Jen. Okay. And then I can close it up. And there it is. My plant pot card that I've sent to Trev. And you could send it to whoever you want to. You can give it to your mum. You could give it to your neighbour, can you? Uh, you could give it to anybody you want, or you could just keep it for yourself and write a prayer inside. It's up to you. So there you go, a thank you card in the shape of a flower. And thank you very much, Sue, for making that for us. That was really, really cool. If you would like to send pictures in of your flower plant pot card, then just send it to the email below and I will do a show and tell next week and I have got quite a few show and tells for this week so uh, coming up next will be your show and tells from the Easter Holiday Club. See you next week. Okay everybody uh, that's it from us this Sunday. I hope you've enjoyed everything that we've done this morning. Uh, well done Blues for winning this week. Uh, never mind we, we only just won by a millisecond. Trev did so well. Uh, don't forget to have a go of the cup games at home and maybe let us know how you've done. Okay, so I've got some really cool show and tells this week and they've all come from our Easter holiday club. Uh, so let's see, who have we got first? So this one has been done by Sarah. Really well done, Sarah.
Sarah's been doing a lot of craft for us over the week, so thank you very much for sending that in, Sarah. This one's from Grace. Well done, Grace. Very, very nice. And this one's from Olive. Well done, Olive. Good job, mate. Really, really lovely bit of artwork there. Now, this one, this one's from Jessica. Well done, Jessica. Uh, thanks for sending that in. And these two, these are from uh, Charlie and Rose. Well done, Charlie and Rose, for your artwork. And also, they've also sent us a picture in of some decorations as well. So this is Charlie and Rose's Easter decorations. Very, very nice, uh, Charlie and Rose. Thank you very much for sending those in. Now, if you would like to send in anything, any jokes, any pictures, then send them to this uh, email address and I'll make sure that I do your show and tells uh, next week. But I need them in by Thursday so that I can put them into the content. So today we were thinking about a guy called Thomas who didn't quite believe that Jesus had come back to life until he saw him. And this made me think, you know, sometimes we have doubts, don't we? Sometimes we're unsure about things. So we're going to pray about that right now before we end. So let's <clears throat> wiggle our fingers. Are you ready? Here we go. Ready? One, two. Three, Lord God, I thank you for all the boys and girls that have taken part in the Easter Holiday Club and taken part in all of the Sunday stuff. And God, I just pray that you'd be with them today and be with their mums and dads too. And God, I pray that you'd help us when we are unsure about things to show us that you are real and that you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, everybody, that's it from us for this week. Uh, Ignite Life Group, I'll see you tonight at 6.30. And uh, Ignite Extra, I'll see you on Friday at 6.30. Look out for the links. See you then. Bye.